Hello, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to our midweeks Bible study using our latest technology by our internet. Are you ready? Then let's have to pray. Lord, once again, we come to your throne of mercy and grace. Trusting to you this time as we go alone in our Bible study, continue, O God, to reveal unto us that, Lord, our service unto you is so precious because you are preparing a place to all of us, the heaven which all the people are desiring to come to that place because you are waiting of your people who were redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus. Give us the wisdom tonight, Father God, as we go alone in our studies. All these things we ask and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Heaven. Heaven is a beautiful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see myself with Jesus in that place that he was preparing to all of us. Heaven. God is in heaven and we are on earth. Therefore, stand in awe with God. So we have to look up on high, look up high as God is in heaven. In Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 2 and 7, it says, Do not be quick with your mouth. Do not be hasty in your heart to utter anything before God. God is in heaven and you are on earth. So let your words be few. Verse 7, Much dreaming and many words are meaningless. Therefore fear God. Because first, what is heaven? Heaven is the dwelling place of God. According to Job 30, 22 verse 12, Is not God in the heights of heaven? And see how lofty are the high stars. Deuteronomy 26.15 Is not God in the heights of heaven? And see how lofty are the high stars. Two texts, two texts emphasizes the same things. Second of the picture of heaven. Heaven is the throne room of God. According to Psalm 103 verse 19 The Lord has established His throne in heaven. Isaiah 66 1 This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you built for me? Where will my resting place be? So that's why God so hatred with idols. Because idols was put in a house milled by human hands. But when God says, according to Isaiah, how he describes God, that the heaven is God's throne and his footstool is on earth. How? It, where is the house you will build for me? And where will my resting place be? How big you have to make a house that would suit the size of God? That's why we are not serving any idols because idols can even any billionaires in this earth even he have to expend everything that he has to build a house. How could he contain? How could he contain in his house the size of God as being elaborated and explained? and described by prophet Isaiah. Next, heaven is the place of God's glory. According to Daniel chapter 7, verse 9 and 10, As I look, thrones were set in place, and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow. The hair of his head was white like wool. His throne was flaming fire, and its wheels were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, 
coming out from before him. Thousand upon thousands attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. Acts chapter 7 verse 55 But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus is standing at the right hand of God. Heaven is the throne of the righteous or the believing dead. First, Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 For we know that if the earthly tent we live is is destroyed we have a building from above from god an eternal house in heaven not built by human hands so heaven is not built by human hands so no one can imagine what is the design of heaven because it never comes into the human mind or any genius man that could imagine or make a design of how heaven would look like Heaven is the future home of all believers. My brothers and sisters, we are the recipient of heaven. So please, as you know the Lord and as you have already surrendered your life unto God, please let's maintain our status of being a true genuine believers because God has prepared a place for us. According to Revelation chapter 9, chapter 7, verse 9 and 10, After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. What did John say? says? A group, a great of multitudes, my brothers and sisters, not only us will go to heaven, but all the people who had surrendered and give their life unto God and received Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior, they are recipient and the heavens is prepared also for them. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne unto the Lamb. Second thing, what is the nature of heaven? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, However, as it is written, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human minds had conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully even as I am fully known. No mind has conceived. No eyes had seen. No ear has heard what God had prepared the things in heaven to those who love him and to those who obey and continually follow his voice. A place of great glory. Okay. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 43, Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears, let him hear. Second, it is a place of continual worship. According to Revelation chapter 16, chapter 19, verse 1 to 6, After this I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for true and just are His judgment. He has condemned the great prost prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. And again they shouted, Hallelujah! The smoke from here goes up forever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worship God, who has seated on the throne, and they cried. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both great and small. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like loud peals of thunder shouting, Hallelujah! Third, a place that will never end. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 11, And you will receive a rich welcome into eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Fourth, heaven is a place untainted by evil. Revelation 21, 7 and Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5. Those who are victorious will inherit all this and I will be their God and they will be my children. For this you can be sure, no immoral, impure or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of God and Christ. In that place, without night, Revelation 22 verse 5, there will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. Even if the national power will shut down, it cannot affect the heaven because the heaven did not need any more power generated by the concept and the invention of man because God in himself gives light in that kingdom. Without curse, Revelation 22 verse 3, No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. Without pain, no crying, no sorrow, no death. In verse 4, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. This is because the nature of heaven is a product of the nature of God. Since heaven is the full of manifestation of his presence, what God is like? Heaven is like a place of holiness, full of glory and without end. Our link with heaven. As believers, we now live our lives in a product of the special relationship with heaven because we belong to him. God bless. This is the heaven description. That's why even though we are facing many trials, difficulty in this world, that sometimes it comes in our mind that we will surrender. But you see, what kind of place in heaven that God has prepared for you and me and for all of us that is not comparable to anything that can be found here in this planet earth. My brothers and sisters, God is no knocking at the, the, the door of your heart. If you have Christ already in your heart, please cleave on it. Embrace it, treasure it, honor it, keeps on glorifying Him whom who have purchased and redeemed us from our sin. Because the place that He has prepared surpassing great, marvelous, glorious that we can never imagine. The Bible clearly says that it has never come in the mind of men. It has never been conceived in their mind. It has never been imagined how beautiful is the place that God has prepared for you. God bless. Shall we pray? Lord, we are so thankful of the description of heaven whom you have shown us by your word, by the Bible, O oh God, Lord, the ultimate 
authority of record that says and describe what the heavens looks like oh God. and Lord we are so eager to leave this place to leave this earth oh God and come to that place which you have prepared to all of us I thank you Lord for everything we honor you in Jesus name Amen and Amen God bless